And we have Tony here. She's going to give her thoughts on this weekend's match and then we'll open up for questions. Uh, yeah, obviously, we've had um, a few players away on it. So, for them to report back, um, I think, you know, I've watched the games of all the world, so that's pleasing. Hopefully, you'll come back fit and firing. Um, obviously, pleased with our previous result and performance against Portland. Now we have to build on that. You know, you're only ever as good as your last game. So, it's a very tough opposition. I don't think that the table is, uh, you know, telling the truth when it comes to Washington's talent on their roster. They're a good side. You know, they play some really good good soccer so it's going to be a really difficult test and you know we know away trips are very difficult um but we know what we're capable of on the road um so it's going to be hopefully a great great game for for the fans and hopefully an, another good performance for us and, and an opportunity to pick up points alicia thank you hi casey thanks for your time today i had two questions first um given how tight the table is right now, is it a little bit tricky to kind of calibrate uh, where the teams are? I mean, you're atop the, the table, but you're only six points out of a playoff spot potentially. So it's, it's really, really close. What what do you make of how how tight things are right now? Well, as a head coach, it's, um, yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Because it's so tight and you, you have to go into every single game as you should, you know, focusing on trying to get all three points. Um, but it's also super exciting for fans and people that watch the game because it is so competitive. I don't think there's any other league in the world where there's this many teams in contention come this point in the season. So, yeah, it means every game counts. It means every point counts and every goal counts. So, you know, our focus is very much about going into every game diligently and making sure that we're focused and our attention is on uh, getting a result. My second question is about Naomi Gurma. Um, <clears throat> one thing that I've noticed since she came back from uh, national team duty yeah. is it seems like she's been passing, uh, you know, trying out long distance passing a lot more. That was something that she showcased with the U.S. national team. Is that something that you kind of you know, gave her the green light on, gave her an opportunity to kind of uh, spray the ball around a little bit more? Because it didn't seem like she was doing that earlier in the season. Yeah, I think if I, I think if. You know, me and Naomi have had lots of conversations, obviously, having previously played centre-back. is She's got that skill set, you know, in her armour, and it's being able to use it at the right times, and she's definitely doing that and identifying it. She'll tell you herself, you know, coming as a rookie into this league, she probably played a little bit safer, um, and, and, you know, she has so many tools to be able to pull out. She can dribble, penetrate, she can play long passes, she can defend 1v1, she's you know, an unbelievable player. So it's not about me giving her the green light. She's always got that. You know, I like players to to, to be decision makers. You know, if they see the pass at the right time, they play. If it doesn't come off, it doesn't come off. So, yeah, I think she's just got confidence now, you know, having played at national team level and the belief in herself that having played at that, she's just grown into a confident player. And now she's using that skill set more, which is great for us. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks. Taylor? Yes, thanks for speaking with us, us this morning. Um, first question, um, do you expect that uh, the players coming back from international play are going to be on minutes watch this weekend? No, I don't. No. Um, we've obviously got some traveling from long distances, but they've played early on in the week. We've got enough time to recover them. Um, so, yeah, no, I don't. I don't expect that at all. Okay. And then second, um, last time you played Washington, it was a much different team. I think it was right. It's dur it was during the, um, the beginning of the July period, right? Where you were missing a bunch of people. Um, what different do you expect from the spirit this weekend? I think both teams look very different, you know, in terms of availability of players. I also think they'll look very different. They've had a change in, in coaching staff, you know, and if I'm a player in that locker room night now, I want to prove myself. I want to put a stake of claim for a shirt. I want to prove that I'm, I want to be part of the future of the club. And I think they will massively come out and bounce because of that. So we have to be prepared for that. We have to make sure that we match their work ethic and desire and, and better that. And, you know, we, we have to have a game plan, you know, for, for lots of different scenarios because we don't know, you know, how they're going to play in terms of identity and philosophy with the changes that they've had. Thank you. Thanks. Stephanie? Hi, Coach. Um, the last time we spoke, I didn't articulate myself that well. I actually thought that you did a great job and you completely outcoached Portland and you've done a great job with the Wave FC so far. Yeah, thank you. My question is, is that um, I was looking at Trinity Rodman's stats yesterday and she's created 
22 chances and has 19 shots on target. And so my question is, what's the what's the plan to contain her and the rest of Washington's offense? Yeah, she's an outstanding player. What a young talent um, that the American you know, national team has at their disposal in this league and fans get to watch. Um, you know, we've watched her closely, but you could say that about Sophia Smith too. And I thought we managed her within that game very well. We need the same again against another young, talented player. There's so much young talent in this country. It's, it's frightening and she's definitely one of them. So we're aware of her. We know her strengths. We know what she possesses and we're going to have to be at our very best defensively to keep her quiet. We know that. And I do have one more question, and that is, over the summer, you wrote an article about Kira Walsh, and earlier today, Kira Walsh was confirmed um, to have transferred to Barcelona for 400,000 pounds, and I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm not surprised. I was hearing it was going to happen. Um, she very much suits the Barcelona way and way of playing the way she is. Um, she's a huge loss to the WSL. I think she's so talented. I think she was incredible. I thought everything bright that England did, you know, most of it came through her. So I'm not surprised she's gone for that sort of money. She's an incredible player. Um, and yeah, I think she play Champions League football and wants to potentially try and win the Champions League. And you've probably got a higher chance of doing that at, at Barcelona than anywhere else. Thank you. Thanks. Are there any other questions for Casey before she goes? their thoughts on this weekend's match and we'll open up to questions. Katie, do you want to go first? Sure. Um, we're excited to get back off the road and play a game um, after this little break we had and hopefully get three points. Um, putting in the work this week, so just getting prepared. Really? Yeah, same thing that she yeah. said. Um, we know Washington just had a coaching change, so we know that all the players are going to be, all of their team is going to be excited to go out and go prove themselves and we are going to do the same and match their intensity and um, I think it'll be a really good match for us. Okay. Alicia, if you want to go first with your question. Thank you. Uh, thanks for your time today. I had a question for both of you regarding um, the, the table being so tight at this point in the season, uh, the games coming quickly here for the final month or so. Uh, you're both veterans. You've been in this league, you know, for a few years. How do you approach um, this last stretch of the regular season and, and getting ready, getting the team ready for, um, you know, a lot of games coming in a short amount of time? I think that you just that one game at a time. Um, I think you can't get too caught up with the table. Um, you just do what you can, uh, prepare for each game and try to get the three points in each game, but really just focus on the process in one game at a time. Yeah, I would agree. And I mean, veterans bring experience and the rookies and newcomers bring kind of an energy. So I think that balance is really important for us and um, to guess the next three points and so on, so on. Great, thank you. Stephanie. Hi, Kaylee. Um, not too long ago, I spoke to your uncle, and your uncle seems to be very proud of you and your performances in the NWSL so far, so I just wanted to get that out of the way first, and my question to you is, um, what is your approach to this game, and in particular, containing Washington's offense? <laughs> first of all, sorry for whatever my uncle said. <laughs> um, they're crazy, but they're They've always supported me, but um, I think obviously they have a, a good attacking presence, um, multiple players that are dangerous. And I think um, maybe just studying some of their individual tendencies and then just really trying to nullify them throughout the game. And, you know, with dangerous players like that, you just have to over communicate and always know where they are and have cover. So um, I think that's what we'll look to do. Great, thank you. Are there any other questions, Katie or Kaylee, from anyone in the audience? Or, or more? You want to go? A more. Hi, good morning to everyone. Um, well, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. He froze. Oh, okay. Does anyone else have a question? Hello, hello, do you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, I have a question for Katie Johnson. How have you been feeling in this part of the season? You have been uh, having more minutes, more more matches. How have you been this time? Um, obviously, it feels good to get on the field, but every time, regardless of minutes, I just want to make a, an impact and help the team out. So if it's full 90 or if it's five, as long as I can like be beneficial for the team, that's all that really matters. So um, I'm just trying to be consistent in that regard. And also, Katie, what do you think about Andrea Rodebog? I don't know if you know that uh, she's the new uh, general manager of Mexican women's teams. And uh, do you know her? What do you expect from her? Um, right now, I'm just yeah, right now, um, on this last month with San Diego and playoff, or till playoffs push. So, um, yeah, I'm just focusing on San Diego, not really like Mexico stuff right now. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carlos. Yes, uh, first, uh, ladies, congratulations. Good morning. Excellent performance uh, this uh, season. And my question is, uh, what is the challenge to change the, the new home this season? Uh, and the Torero changed to uh, Snapdragon. Can you ask the question again? Say congratulations. That that's an excellent performance this uh, season. How do you feel the team the next change the home? A little change, like oh, change. the new change of the stadium. Yeah. Um, yeah. we're really excited. Uh, the new stadium looks beautiful, and it's going to be a really yeah. good opportunity to play in that stadium. Um, obviously we have a game before that, so for right now we're focused on that. But I think we're all excited for the new stadium. Yeah, and I think it'll be good for our league and for women's soccer in general. I know that we have sold out that stadium for the first game, so um, we'll want to continue to do that for each each game and get as many supporters as possible. But I think it'll be a big step for um, not only our team, but the NWSL in general. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Anyone else have any other questions before they go? Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks.